Okay. This is N2LEN with another uh, bench repair video clip. Here is the ICOM ICR71A general coverage HF receiver. I picked this receiver up about a year ago as part of a uh, a lot of equipment that I purchased from uh, local ham. And this particular receiver, when I purchased it, uh, it came to me with the history that the um, it was well used. Power supply, AC power supply had issues, and uh, and that's about it. I put it on the bench last year, powered it up, nothing, no display, no meter light, no backlighting or anything. Uh, I then powered it up on DC and the radio did uh, turn on, but there was no receive at all. Uh, basically a radio with display and meter lighting, but uh, nothing else. Uh, upon inspection, removing some covers on the bottom of the radio, I noticed that the RAM module was missing. So I reached out to the gentleman who I purchased it from, and he actually purchased for this radio a Wilco 1024 memory module, third-party company, and uh, he was able to locate it and he sent it to me. So anyway, today, this morning, I snapped that module in. It's a plug-in module. Uh, and uh, replaced the cap in the power supply and powered up the radio and it appeared on the signal meter like it was receiving but I was getting no volume. Uh, I plugged in a pair of headphones and everything uh, seemed like it was receiving fine. So which led me to uh, take a test speaker, Motorola test speaker, and I actually went right into the radio. There's the actual um, speaker jack that has the speaker leads that feed the speaker and I tapped in uh, some wires right there and the speaker came alive which led me to then determine that the internal speaker that was that I don't know if this is the original it's a 1 watt 8 ohm um, a little bit better than what you would see in your C average CB radio it does have a magnet on it but it's a 1 watt 8 ohm uh, speaker, and I think it's a uh, full range. And what I did was I replaced that speaker with one that I pulled out of an old CB set that I had. It's a three quarter watt, not as good, but for test purposes, it, it actually was the same diameter size. So it fit right in there, and as you could see, the radio was playing and receiving on 12.30 a.m. Uh, fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give this radio a full servicing, clean all the controls, deox it, take apart the front panel, and I'll probably give it a bath. It's filthy. Uh, inside, just dusty. I'm just going to blow it out. I don't believe it needs a capacitor swap. Um, I've come to terms with uh, don't mess with it if it's working. And instead of digging into the radio further, if it's playing good, it seems like it has good sensitivity. What I'll do is I'll test the t sensitivity after I give it its servicing. But tonight, uh, I'm just going to let this play through the day, even into the evening, maybe until tomorrow. Uh, tune in 75 meters when the band opens up tonight. The bottom cover I need to replace, uh, I guess, the bezel and some uh, of the original feet. Looks like it was uh, those pieces are missing and there's some stick-on rubber feet, and I'll clean that up. And that's basically it, so... Uh, Actually, I made this message, uh, this uh, video for the gentleman that I bought it from just to show him uh, where I got with the radio. So, Dave NF2G from N2LEN, here is your old uh, IC71A. Best 7.3s, this is N2LEN out.